Many Names. Hi, Many Names. I'm Dad. <laughs> <sighs> I don't often tell Dad jokes, but when I do, he laughs. Uh, oh. I love Some, someone joke. has to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my New Year's resolution. More dad jokes. More dad jokes. Yeah. More dad jokes. More puns. Puns, dad jokes, best form of humour. Mm-hmm. I will die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing, folks? We all good? Mm, very good. <sighs> you, Got a coffee sure? now. I was going to say... Yes. I think you need to drink the coffee because we, we, we've all suddenly gotten very tired all of a sudden. <laughs> Have a coffee. Roll some dice. That, that does seem to be the current mood. I went and got a can of energy drink. It's way too early in the morning for it, but I need it. It's one in the afternoon. You're fine. Yeah. Energy Stop drinks. Them. You know they're made of actual diesel. Yes. I mean, yeah. they are I, I am an engine. I am uh, an engine and I require fuel. Ah, uh, no. I think they should ban energy drinks <laughs> completely. They are the most foul. I'd never be able to function. Have, have coffee. It doesn't work. <laughs> then you're not Although, to be fair, the, en- the energy drink doesn't work either. I just like the taste. Uh, 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 no, it's like, same, same to be fair. You, you, you know. Yeah. You know when you put a battery in your mouth? It's like you know, I've you never put a battery in my yeah. mouth, Stu. What's a battery in their mouth? <laughs> I think the issue here might be you. <laughs> well, you get so, electric. Electric it, has a taste. I think it must be a boy thing because I, I know exactly what Stu's talking about. Yes. Like, I, um, I'm not proud of it. In my younger days, I have licked batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the um, the nine volt ones because you because you because you can like lick yeah. both contacts at once you just, and you, yeah. you, you, you have a single. Yeah. Why? Why would <laughs> and, you and do this? batteries as well. I didn't I know you could do it with those. I, well, yeah. Well, that's what you're doing later. The then, negative isn't it? is on one side on the, and down the sides, and then the positive is the is the top, as it were. This podcast does not endorse the licking of, uh, of, of battery products. Yeah, uh, please, please do, please not, do not try this at home. No, no, don't put forks in the wall outlets. What else? Like my repair videos, it's for entertainment value only, not a how-to. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, well, um, I had a segue, it's gone, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Welcome back, listeners, to Tales from the Twenty Side, a Pathfinder Second Edition Let's Play podcast. My name is Dom, and I'm your GM for this game and for many others. And I'm joined by Stu. Hello. I'm joined by Amy. Hello. And I'm joined by Asta. Hello. I've just noticed something really weird that I've started doing, and I'm curious to know how long I've been doing it. But but whenever I do the intro recently, I've started just throwing my arms out to one side, (laughs) and I don't know why. Is that a thing I've been doing for a while? I think you've been doing that at least since I started. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I I know that I have a tick at work that when I make an outbound phone call, I touch my nose. So maybe it's like that. (laughs) Is that Ah. that your tell? That's that's how they know you're uh, you're, you're not actually working. Yeah, I think think it was like a nervous thing when, when it started and now I just tend to just do it. So it's always like... Yep, making it out there for cool. <laughs> Do you touch your nose with your right hand or your left hand, though? Uh, my right hand, because I type with my right, and then I touch my nose before my uh, hand goes back to the mouth. <laughs> means you're telling the truth. Mm. Well, it's not. I work for an insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a very good liar. One of the two. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This this whole time, Amy's been telling us she 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 she's not an actor. Really, she's the best of us all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> oh, Asta, dear. have you ever done any acting? Uh, n- not since school, sadly. Uh, okay. School. Camp. I did. I did want to go into acting, but unfortunately, my mental health took a bit of a cartwheel. And uh, I lost a lot of my confidence and never really got back into it. Right, right. Very, yeah. very, very common, very, very common thing, thing, thing to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's not, 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 not nice, but... Uh, but the- I'm, I'm on the other end of it now and I am doing a lot better. Actually, since starting to play tabletop mm. games, uh, it's helped improve my confidence immensely. Yeah, this, 
they're so I, I find um, TTRPGs are so good for, the, for, the, for, the, for things like that like um, I I used to say a couple of years ago when I sort of first start, started playing that um, like D&D is therapy I've since come come to realise that's not entirely true D- D&D is not therapy but it is therapeutic mm-hmm. um, and you know it it, it, it really can help with, uh, you know. You know, I've I've seen it in the Wednesday group as much as anything. I've seen um, the, how much it, it, it affects and improves people's confidence and um, social skills and all sorts of things. Um, there's the, there's so much to it that people don't 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 realise. Yeah, I mean, um, I was I was literally a mouse when I joined the Wednesday group, mm. and now I have one of the most flamboyant and campus characters going. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and now you never shut up on the Discord. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> and you're on a podcast. I am. Awesome. Kudos. Well, I'm so a big with fan kudos. of structured fun time. With all with all with all with all, with all, all of that, that in mind, Asta, I'm I'm actually re- really grateful that you accepted my invitation to join uh, to join to join the podcast because it must have been must have been quite a uh, quite a what's the word I'm looking for quite quite, quite a nerve wracking thing when I when I asked you about it. Uh, it was, and I think maybe two years ago I would have flat out said, "Nah, sorry, I'm I'm uh, not into that," but uh, I read it and I was like I know previously I would have said no so fuck it I'm doing it there you go <laughs> character growth folks not just for movies <laughs> absolutely not just for role playing yeah. not just for role playing <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're all glad that you that you agreed to it because it's been is I'd say it's been and like it's over it's not over um, but it's, it's it's a lot of fun playing with you so thank, thank you, you. Yes. And and cl- clearly you, you you are the most competent member of the party. So <laughs> God, God know where the part, where the guys would be if mm. Ryan hadn't just turned up. <laughs> pro- 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 probably st- still buried at the, at the bottom, bottom of a clock tower somewhere. Yep, <laughs> with extra trolls. Well, it's it's a weird party mix, and it it has been since day one because and right. So this is absolutely something I tried desperately to avoid but it happened anyway for some reason Alwyn seems to have become the leader of this group now he is the he least thinks. intelligent least <laughs> wise um, no actually I think his wisdom's okay um, but but he's certainly the least intelligent he's, he's drunk most of the time he's got no common sense about him whatsoever um, he's, he's driven far too much by his emotions how the hell did he end up as the leader of this group? It sounds well, exactly the sort of person that would think that the leader of the group. So, <laughs> yeah, you perfectly reflect the nature of the people you're leading. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe more of um, Alwyn's past has lingered than than than, than he realised. Maybe despite all of that, um, mm. there is still something that makes people want to follow him. Mm. It's that big shield. <laughs> right. You go first. It's that big, <laughs> that big shield and that, and that big sack of hit points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many do you have? You and a many? little cute fluffy wolf. Because at the moment, wouldn't I mean, Chardonnay be a bit objective to that being called a cute fluffy wolf? Well, Chardonnay is a cute fluffy wolf. Sh- Chardonnay oh. is a small creature at the moment. That's that's going to change at some point. Yes, he we will know. be getting bigger. We know he'll be he getting will. bigger. But right now, yeah, he's still a small creature. And when he gets bigger, um, uh, if Chardonnay consents, Della can ride him. Mm. <laughs> this get, get, this is better saddle. than the shark. And if, <laughs> and if Alwyn consents as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but could you imagine how amazing that would be? I mean, because Chardonnay is quite quick. Halfling and I'm vicious, so yeah. this is a perfect combination. Yeah. Mm. But for now, he's a little floofy, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. So I got my, I got my cuddly toy, Chardonnay. Yeah, you have. Floofy Very cute. and currently also slightly static. That's it. I think <laughs> if 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 we if we ever decide to branch out into into merch, I, I think we need a, a, um, a little Chardonnay plushie. What do you reckon? Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. 
well. Uh, words, brain, <laughs> fuck. On that note, why don't we? <laughs> We're playing a game. Throw ourselves thank you, back into thank the you. game. And thank you, who guys. remembers where we are? In we the are story. fighting <laughs> some awful mirrormen. And with decided that, to... I became the GM. That's it. That's, it. That's, it. That's, all that, that's all it took. Was, was, that's how close it's been the entire time. You've, you've been waiting for, for me to have a slip in conversation. No, and now the world not is yours. I, I wow. really enjoy being the player in this. Mm. Sorry, Amy, yeah. you, were, you, were, you were speaking there. Yeah, I was, I was answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we have encountered some mirror men and some guards and a troll. And we're currently engaged in a bit of a fight in the street because they wanted to see our papers and Della didn't want that to happen. Um, but while we were fighting, Amos has let off the dragon cannon thing. Sky... Thing? Sky like, rockets in what flight. Was it? Yeah, what the was that Signal sky rocket is what I wrote in my inventory. Mm-hmm. So whatever that is. So we've we've informed the the knights that we're messing around, and uh, we have just had a troll get hit by something, but we don't know what. It burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I thought it might be flambe. Otto, but. I think Otto isn't here, so. Mm. Otto, yeah, told us just, well, he told Alwyn just before he left, he, he's got a lot of things to process. Yeah. Basically, he Alwyn doesn't want to get, get him involved. killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's better for that. Yes. And, and also, less, less, less covertly, Dom doesn't want to run uh, someone else's character whilst they're away for a, for a, for a sabbatical. <laughs> yeah. How's Amos feeling in this? <laughs> uh, he's, he's feeling great. He's, he's got to punch a guy. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. He's happy. He punched him he successfully. He, he belted the, that guy. Absolutely belted. Absolutely mm. belted. Uh, that was just something I needed to check real quick. I've lost it. Uh, there is something to be said for uh, running, running ga- games online because it means that you've got all of the, of the rules information at, at your fingertips and stuff. But my issue is, is always finding it. <laughs> like mm-hmm. the second I need, I when I know I need something, I just, I'm just like, unless I've got it prepared ahead of time, I'm like, where is the thing I'm looking for? Yeah. You can't win because you open up a bunch of bookmarks and have some tabs open and then it's hard to find it in the tabs. Yes. And you're just like, oh, I'll search for it and the website will take a little while to load and then you've spelled something wrong so you don't find it immediately. That's <sighs> it. I mean, some might say I could I could, I could, could actually just learn the rules of the game, but uh, we don't do that. <laughs> that feels like an impossible challenge to know all the rules of this game. Oh, that this game... Impossible. This I don't think I I don't think Paizo know all the rules rules to Pathfinder. If I'm completely honest, um, like just because because there are so many nuances and so many situational things, um, you know, which is a great thing. You know, there's so much flexibility in the Pathfinder rule system. But yeah, as you say, I, I don't think it's possible to know all the rules. Um, Let, let's be honest. There's only one rule we need to know, and it's the most important rule, and it's the funnest rule, and it's my favourite rule. Rule zero. Rule zero. Rule zero. The DM can make up whatever shit he likes. Yeah, r- rule zero, the DM is always right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like that rule. <clears throat> and on that bombshell, uh, let's get back into the game, folks. Um, so, uh, having with with Amos having set off this, this, this flare... Um, uh, this, uh, the, the battle starting to turn and a little bit desperate as Raiden calls down a lightning bolt onto one of the mirror men. Uh, it was all looking a bit desperate when suddenly the troll behind you um, roared in pain as it burst as it burst into flame, and you wheel round um, and you see um, standing at uh, sort of a good twenty feet behind behind the group of you. Um, you see a number of hooded and cloaked fi- fi- figures, um, all with all with weapons drawn. Uh, you see um, a couple of them have flasks of what looks to be alchemist's fire um, ready in their hands, and the individual who who has just thrown one at this troll, uh, you see the hood falls away for a second, and um, 
certainly for Alwyn and Alwyn and Della will will, will recognise this this in, this in individual. Um, you will uh, you see Mal, Mal, Maori, one of the heralds of Summer's Return that you rescued from uh, from from beneath the bone grinder. Idea. And he mm. and he calls and he calls out calls out calls out calls out calls out to out to to all all, all, all of you. Um, seems it's time for me to repay the favor. Come on, go. We'll take care of these. And you watch as uh, this group of figures um, rushes forward. Um, uh, you see, there's a good there's a good ten individuals here. Sort of some of them in in. Uh, uh, Armors, armor, and shields, and all that sort of thing, and they rush. They they rush forwards. So, sorry, four, four of them rush forwards. Uh, the uh, the rest, including Maori, begin begin to ready more of this alchemist's fire to throw, seemingly at at, at the troll troll once once more. Um, one of the winter guard next to you gets um, uh, just tackled to the ground with a, whip, with a shoulder charge, and he watches one of these in, these in, individuals uh, just starts beating beating the shit out of him. Um, but we're on to Della's turn. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do something I haven't done before and uh, be all like, yay, all our friends are here. That's going to really help us in this situation and use my feet of encouraging words. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, I... This is a diplomacy check. I would like to do it at an expert, which is a DC twenty. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'll see if I am successful. <laughs> no. <laughs> you do have a hero point. I do have a hero point. How unsuccessful. Um, so it's been a long time since I wrote this feat for you, Amy. I need to have a little look at it. Yeah. Uh, do do do. I'm going to use my hero point. Why not? Use it at the start. Yeah, that's it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So it's, it's a normal failure. Uh-huh. Um, so according to that, so nothing, the, happens. nothing happens. So I just bluster a bunch of hot air. Um, so uh, it looks like we're going to scarper now. I think I, I think I think I think more 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 less less than you you bluffed about a bunch of hot air. It's more that there is just so much happening and so much noise. No one like, hears me. Nobody hears you. Yeah. No, nobody's paying attention to 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 li- little Della. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Um. So are we is, is the idea that we're we're leaving now. Um, so you're that's you're what still. Said. You're still engaged in combat. Um, yeah. Ma- Maori has basically said, um, "Get the fuck out of here. We'll handle this." Okay. Uh, however, you've got to find a way to, to, to make that happen. You're still you're, you're still encircled. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, how far away is Chardonnay from me? Because uh, he's still being grappled. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so directly in front of you, Della, there is a mirror man. Uh, mm-hmm. Directly behind that mirror man is Chardonnay, and directly behind Chardonnay is the mirror man grappling Chardonnay. Okay. Uh, got a, l- a lovely little murder conga going. Yeah, murder conga. Right, um, and then I, I take. I've probably got a guard to the side. Uh, you have a guard to, to. You have a guard to the left of you, and an Alwyn to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of you. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> So I, I'm going to uh, switch my attention to the guard that's next to me, so mm-hmm. we can break this circle, and I am going to swing at them. Right. <clears throat> With a 22 minus 2, because I'm clumsy, uh, so 20. Uh, 20 is a hit. Wonderful. Are they flat-footed to me? He is not flat-footed, I'm afraid. Oh, sad. I. Oh, uh, that is six points of damage. Six points of damage. Very nice. And I'll swing at him again for my last action with a another twenty. 
And another 20, okay, all right. A 20 is enough to hit again. Let's roll some damage. Oh, six again. Six again, very consistent. Yeah. Very Ish. consistent. Kind of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> right. Uh, end of Della's... Uh, Della's turn? Yes, because you tried Encouraging Words, which was your first action. Yeah. Right, okay. So, end of your turn, Della. We are round two, the Mirror Men. Uh, the creature that had Chardonnay grabs uh, is going to drop Chardonnay, and you watch as um, turning, its, turning it, it, its attention to this, uh, this group of individuals who have just appeared in your defence. Um, it strides away from Chardonnay around the group and starts to engage um, the, some of these hooded and cloaked figures. Um, the sword comes whipping in. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so you see, as it as it rushes forward, sword flourishing, um, with a single strike, um, one of these uh, these hooded figures uh, is is struck down and uh, sort of collapses to the ground. Uh, it goes for a strike against the second, and you watch as they are able to parry the blow aside. Uh, it's worth no- no- noting noting at, at this point. Um, you can all hear um, the sounds of battle happening across across the city in kind of in in, in all directions around you, and you can you, you start to see the um, uh, the cordon around the um, around the forest. Uh, you, you can see you can see the guards were posted there, kind of looking looking around each other. Um, a few of them are are moving off in different directions. Um, that ends the first Mirror Man's turn. The second Mirror Man, which is still engaged with the rest of you, um, it is going to... Mm, how badly have you hurt it? <laughs> Not too badly. Okay, it's going to go for strikes against... Yeah, so it's first action, it makes a strike against against Della. Mm-hmm. And it rolls a 23. That hits. That hits, okay. Against Alwyn. Uh, it rolls an 18. That does not hit. So 23 on Della. Liberating step. Okay. It's going to be... 17 points of slashing damage reduced to 9, I believe. That's correct. And plus 2 AC until the next round. Oh, my AC is back to normal. Is that a thing with Liberating Step? Yes. I thought I was lay on hands. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yes. It's still minus 2. No, no, (laughs) my bad. You're absolutely right. Oh, actually, because I got healed there, does that cure me of my clumsy? Or is it a particular type of heal? I I think it, it... it's an actual medicine check, sort of t- yeah. taking time to treat wounds and things. Okay, cool. I mean, battle medicine would do it if you if, if you've done battle medicine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, also as part of liberating step, this is something we keep forgetting. Um, as part of that, Della, you you can step as a free action if you wish. Okay. Can I s- step in a way that disengages me from the mirror man? Out. <laughs> So a step is a single square, um, not really. You, you, you no. can kind of move around it and get, get yourself more towards open ground, but you would still be within reach of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, sort of edging my way out, because that's what we're doing. Sure, okay. So do you want to go to your left or to your right? To, to, to your left kind of puts you next to... Um, sorry, to your right puts you in front of Alwyn, to, 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 to your left puts you more towards the side of the street. Uh, I'll get to the side of the street. I wouldn't. I don't think Della would go in front of Alwyn. Yeah, no, no. of course, of course. All right. So end of that. Uh, the Mirror Man is then going to use its third action, um, and it's going go, going to step. Uh, it takes a step because um, it, it sort of sees De- 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 Della m- moving around it. Uh, it's going to step away from from Della and, and from Alwyn. Um, that doesn't provoke because you're using the step action. I've also um, used my reaction. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. But it doesn't know that. And you can see once again, its its hand is starting to come up to its face. Uh, hasn't quite got got there yet. Don't know what that does. Um, 
That's uh, all right. End of that. That uh, it is the Winter Guardsman. Um, so one of them has been tackled to 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 to, to the ground and is sort of um, wrestling with one of these hooded figures who is just beating the crap out of him. Um, the other three, however, are going to first of all raise their shields. Uh, they will make attacks. So one attack against Alwyn. What a great roll. Uh, 21. Is a miss. Is a miss on Alwyn. Uh, against Raiden. Actually, no, Raiden's the one who got tackled. No, he's not. Yes, no, yeah. Against, against Raiden, it's uh, going to be a 22 to hit. That hits, okay. Uh, one will swing at Della. And with a 20 to hit is a miss, I think. Meets beats, because I'm minus two. Oh, of course you are, yes. So you've got a hit against Della. And the last one will... Uh, so, so the last one, the one that's engaged with Amos, is the one that's been tackled to the ground. Um, hits against Raiden and against Della. For damage, is it? It's that damage. <laughs> Uh, so 12 points of bludgeoning damage to Raiden. Okay. And 12 points of bludgeoning damage to, to Della. Okie dokie. So they crack you with these, with these war hammers and you can see they sort, sort of seeing um, that uh, they're being overrun a little bit. Um, they turn to face these individuals who have rushed in to engage them. Um, and you can see... They are actually going to step away from Alwyn and from Della, uh, sort of forming um, forming a wall kind of either side of, of Raiden and, and, and Amos, sort of just hoping to, to, to prevent these individuals from rushing forward, it seems. End of that, it's Alwyn's turn. Right. So, this mirror man who has stepped and is activating his face, whatever that means, mm-hmm. um, he's obviously away from Alwyn. Uh, is he still against Chardonnay? Uh, yes, he is. Or oh, it is, sorry. I should, I should call them... Mirror people, really, because they are gender mm. not specific. Okay. Uh, we're. Oh. Um, yeah, this 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 mirror thing can't be a good thing. Um, first action, instruct Chardonnay to attack. Okay. Uh, so Chardonnay will take a Jaws attack. I don't know if Chardonnay is still flanking or not. Uh, Chardonnay is not, and currently there's nobody else nearby who Chardonnay can flank with. No, fair enough. Uh, that's a total of 24. A total of 24 um, is a miss, unfortunately, against a non flat footed mirror man. Ooh. And uh, Chardonnay's second attack. You've said I can't use. Um, Hero points for Chardonnay, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, Chardonnay has a name, so you're going to want a D6 from me. Oh dear! Have you rolled a one uh, last week? Uh, I happen to have rolled a one. Roll that D6. Oh fuck! Five. <sighs> nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay, that could have been much, much worse. Again, um, perhaps just the suddenness of, of how this has happened. Um, Chardonnay hasn't maybe fully recovered from the last few few days of, days of activity. Uh, as as he lunges in this second time, um, you see there's not quite as much spring in his step as there usually is. Uh, you see Chardonnay is fatigued. Right, I'll add that condition. Okay, uh, Chardonnay is now fatigued. Right, Alwyn's second action, he's going to raise his shield. All right. Uh, is Alwyn up next to anybody? Uh, so currently, Alwyn, um, directly in front in, in front of you, um, there is a, a space, and then there is the Mirror Man and Chardonnay. 
Uh, to your left, there is a space, and then Della kind of in front. Directly behind you is Raiden. Directly behind you to your left is Amos. And there are um, sort of two rows of, um, of, of Winter Guard, one either side of, um, of Amos and Amos and Raiden. So you, you can hit you can, you can hit a Winter Guardsman if you wish. Yeah, I'll I'll go to hit the Winter Guardsman. Uh, a total of thirty-one. So that's a critical hit. Yes, that's what I like to hear. A total of seventeen. Seventeen, very nice. Heavily, heavily wounded. This individual still um, standing. And for a free action, uh, I'll call out to others. Everybody, get away! I'll try and cover our escape as best I can. Right. Okay. Uh, end of Alwyn's turn. Uh, we're around to Amos. Um, uh, Amos is going to sort of, sort of, sort of shout. Best idea you've had all day. Um, he will rush up away from uh, the troll and the winter guardsman. Uh, the troll will take a swipe at him and will miss. Uh, he rushes up, getting into flanking with Chardonnay, and once, once again is going to wind up with a one-inch punch against the mirror man. Uh, it's not a natural 20, but it is a pretty good hit. It's a hit, not a crit, unfortunately. And so... Okay. Nice damage there. Uh, as as Amos rushes up and strikes the mirror man um, <coughs> next to Chardonnay, you see uh, it sort of staggers back momentarily. Uh, that ends his turn. Uh, is the troll. Uh, now, troll is... The troll is having a bad day. Um, mm-hmm. You can see where it's... Uh, uh, where, where this fire is coursing across its body. Uh, you can see that um, its injuries are currently not healing. Uh, so it's going to it almost seems to fly into a frenzy at being sort of hit with fire in, in this way. Uh, so first of all, you watch it takes a swing at uh, one of these hooded figures around you uh, and just sort of stomps it in, stomps them in, into the ground as the as the as the club come, comes up. Uh, you see a uh, crumpled. Uh, uh, the crumpled form of one of these uh, one of these cloaked ind- individuals uh, just lying on the ground. Um, it's then going to um, it's then going to uh, slam towards Raiden. Uh, I think that's going to miss though. That or maybe not. That is uh, twenty three to hit Raiden. That hits. It's okay, so Raiden is going to take uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Liberating Watch. step. Ooh. Reduce that by 8. And um, you watch it, it, it then spends its last action on its turn uh, frantically trying to, put, trying to put, 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 put the fire out on its body. And uh, it, Raiden can take that 5 foot step as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, do, do, does Raiden want to take that five foot step? Uh, yes, to try and disengage from the troll's reach. Yeah, you, I mean, you can certainly get away from, from, from the troll. You get, you get kind of ne- next to Alwyn. Um, that's the most sensible place, I think, where there's less things to hit you. Um, and so, yeah, you watch as um, Troll be burning. Need to check something. Does the burning cauterize the bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to say yes. Um, however, that also feels unfair. How much persistent fire damage is it taking? It's one of those. So it takes that. Okay. So it takes another point of fire damage. <laughs> okay, the fire conti- conti- continues burning. Um, let's have the uh, the bleed uh, the bleed roll, please. That is eleven. 
11, mm -hmm. very nice. Okay, at this point, um, more for flavour than, than, than anything else. Uh, the fire that, that that's coursing across the body uh, does, in fact, cauterize, cauterize the bleeding um, as it uh, as it succeeds on its on its flat check. Um, so the bleeding stops. However, it, it is still on fire, uh, which means you know that its regeneration is uh, is um, is currently shut down. That ends its turn. It's riding. Uh... Raiden is looking pretty rough right now. Um, what have I got around me in terms of immediate dangers? Uh, immediate danger, um, kind of to a bit behind you and to your left, uh, there is a Winter Guardsman. However, he is currently um, on the ground wrestling with one of these hooded, hooded cloak figures. So okay. you know, he, he he's certainly still he's certainly still a threat. And what, what I would say, that's the guy that Amos just rocked the shit of um, <laughs> a short time ago. So he's not looking very well at all. Um, uh, is he within touching distance? Yes, I would say yes. Uh, chill touch. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, spell attack or is it a fort save? Uh, fortitude. Fortitude save. Please. I don't think he's going to pass that. <laughs> uh... Fortitude He's save. He's flat-footed because he's on the floor. Fortitude save. That's a 24. 24. That does succeed. It does succeed. What happens on, what uh, happens on a success? Uh, it doesn't say basic in the saving throw. Let's have a little read of the spell. Okay, so it says basic is in the spell description itself. The target them a basic four save. So because it failed, it still takes half damage. So roll 3d4 plus intelligence. 14. 14, okay, so that's halved to seven. Basically, Raiden, you just... You just you you reach out to this guy and and you're like, shh, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. And uh, yeah, you watch as uh, as uh, as you uh, as you slam your your hand onto him. This chill energy washes over him, and he goes limp in the uh, in the grass with the individual wrestling him. That guy's dead. Amazing. And uh... and Amy, I am um, so f just so you're aware, um, flat-footed doesn't affect saving throws. No. Okay. Cool. Wasn't I? Wasn't wasn't ignoring you? I was just trying to get through that there. Yeah. Uh, you've got one action left, Raiden. Uh, can I just shuffle away as much as I can? You can. So what's your speed? Uh, my speed is 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. So actually, you can get... Uh, do you want to want to ju ju just make a break um, down down the street toward the uh, toward this forest? Uh, I've heard the plan, so yeah, I will, yeah. Uh, I will make a break for it. Yeah. So as as you as you end 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 the life of this guy on the ground, um, you see you see you see an opening. You see the ranks of the enemy um, uh, in disarray, and you take your chance and you spring out out of the melee, and you start rushing down the street toward the forest. Uh, it's Della's turn. Okay. Um, all right. So what stands between me and the forest? Uh, right now, um, right now, only Raiden stands between you, you, you and the forest. Okay. Well, actually, that's that, that's not entirely true. You, you can see um, you're you're maybe two hundred feet away from from the edge of the, of the forest itself, and you can still see that there is this there is the, this cordon of Winter Guard. However, they do seem to be distracted. Like um, you think you you've, you've got got a, a couple of a couple of, op of options here, like. If you're able to wait for a few seconds, you think perhaps they might get drawn off to deal with what else is dealing happening elsewhere. Uh, alternatively, you think if you can all rush as a group, you might be able to be able to break through, break through with brute force. Okay, so for my first action, I'm going to yell even louder this time to encourage my teammates to. Yep break free and we're doing fine don't worry guys um i'm just <laughs> gonna do a normal 
DC check this time. Sure. Which is a shame because I should have gone higher. Uh, that's always <laughs> um, the way. That's always the way. Yeah, so uh, I rolled a 15. So uh, that is 27. So it's. Is that. Um, that's a critical success. 20 is a critical success. So, so uh, who are you giving um, 2d8 temporary hit points to? Uh, so I'll give that to Raiden. And D8. Is that no? That's not D8. That's a D8. Oh, sorry. Uh, you get eight points back. So temporary. Mm-hmm. You lose them ten minutes out of combat. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So just just like in Dune Diaster, uh, temporary hit points are like a barrier on top of your normal hit points. So if you take damage, get rid of your temporary hit points first. Sure thing. And, and um. Okay, with my final two actions, I will ready an action to move with my teammates. Sure. So when um, you see Alwyn and Amos um, moving as well, you're you're going to take that take that chance and go. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're round to the mirror men. Uh, one of them is is very preoccupied uh, with these with these individuals who are starting. To, um, you can see that um, they're very much focusing on, focusing on the mirror man. They're starting to swarm around it. Um, they're grabbing hold of it. They're, they're, they're attempting to pull it to the ground, and you can see they are aiming for it, aiming for aiming for its face um, with sort of hammers and and, and, and cudgels and things. Um, it's very tied up uh, doing that as it, as it battles and whirls. Um, you see another of these hooded in, hooded individuals um, goes goes down in the process. Um, the creature next that is between Amos and Chardonnay uh, once again you see it it, it completes what it completes what, what it was doing before um, its hand touches to its face and a ripple of magic uh, washes out from it, from its fingers um, I think those of you who, who, who can see this there is there is a slight air of of, fra- of franticness uh, to, to that action, which is curious for a mindless creature. But, um, yeah, so, so that happens, and then it will bring its sword to bear on Chardonnay. Oh dear. Okay, and it rolls a 36 to hit Alwyn. On, on it, Chardonnay. It will not surprise you to hear that is a critical hit. Mm. Critical oh. hit on Chardonnay. Twenty-eight points of slashing damage on Chardonnay. As Chardonnay crumples to the floor. Oh shit! Chardonnay's down. Chardonnay's down and dying too, as it was a critical hit there. Mm. Okay, uh, we move on to the Winter Guardsman, um, who Alwyn, you 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 notice they now seem 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 to be seem to be fully fully preoccupied um, with these the these ho- ho- hooded figures. Obviously, um, the um, the right hand side of their line has collapsed a little bit where where Ryden has just finished 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 one of them off, and you can see um, looking nervously at each other. Um, uh, they they form uh, they they close up a little bit to get themselves into a defensive position, raising their shields as they do so, and they and they uh, and they continue battling uh, these hooded and cloaked figures. Um, and under these cloaks, you can you, you can see um, a number of these individuals are are, are wearing armor and breastplates, um, sort of dressed in. in, in in greys and blacks rather than in in the blues and whites of the winter guard um that's going to end their turn they don't seem too bothered about you you at the moment alwyn however there is still a troll on the field it's your turn alwyn is going to cry out to the heavens uh, my back up over there. no as he rushes over to Chardonnay, uh, has a free action of desperate prayer mm-hmm. and casts Lay on Hands on Chardonnay. 
Yep, all right. Uh, Shardner gets 18 hit points back, and that plus two status bonus to AC. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, there's that at least. Uh, that's two actions. Yes, it I is. Believe. One action did remaining. I, did I provoke an attack of opportunity in moving to Chardonnay, though? Uh, you did. Uh, however, the the only guard who, who could reach you was so preoccupied with his distraction that he... He, he couldn't manage much more than a half-hearted swing as you as you as you whipped away. Okay. Um, so that's yeah, that's two actions, um, and with his eyes welling up with tears, uh, Alwyn is going to angrily stab towards the mirror man. All right. That uh, downed Chardonnay. All right. Uh, that is a total of 29. 29 is a hit. A uh, really bad roll. Four points of damage. Oh dear. As as, as you strike in, uh, the blow is uh, almost deflected entirely uh, by just this, this creature's unnatural resilience. Okay. That is Alwyn's go. Uh, yeah, that was a very different round to what I was expecting to do. <laughs> but, uh, I bet it was. Yeah. I bet it was. Win. All right. We're round to Brother Amos. Uh, Amos, uh, engaged with the, with the Mirror Man. Um, sort of see, 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 seeing how little damage that you guys appear to be doing to it, um, he sort of yells. He, 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 he yells out. Um, Get down! Get get down here, you, you, you creepy fuck! As he as he basically he, he dives at, at at the mirror man in an attempt to, to take it to the ground. He rolls a fucking natural twenty. Just as um, as as the mirror man is wheeling around, Chardonnay's blood still dripping from its sword. Alwyn rushes over, rescues Chardonnay. Uh, you hear a thump and a thud, and you watch as the mirror man uh, topples to the ground as Amos basically just picks it up and pile drives it it drives it, it, it into the floor um, who wants to roll a d6 for me go on Della mm, it's on you it's... a one a one oh that's, that is unfortunate um, as as the, as the mirror man is taken to the ground by Amos uh, you all watch as, as the as the mirror on its on its face um just seems to seems to crack or fracture just a tiny tiny bit there's a little hairline crack appears across the glass um, and uh, he is then going to follow that up with a one inch punch doesn't roll another natural 20 sadly uh, does uh, thump it quite heavily uh, in the face it really does. Nice. And uh, that that crack widens just a little bit. Uh, and then he, then he looks up at you all and he says, uh, and you can see that the um, the line of Winter Guard it, guard is is breaking. Uh, you're perhaps only seconds away from um, your allies being being a, a, able to reach to reach to reach to reach the rest of you. Uh, however, the big problem on the field is still the troll, and it's the troll's turn now. So, um, uh, yeah, so the troll, um, once again, still thrashing around in fire. Uh, it does not regenerate. Uh, troll is going to, first of all, attempt to put itself out once again. Actually, no. Uh, f- first of all, it, it rushes into the middle of the group, kind of behind you, Alwyn. Second action, it will make a wild swing at Alwyn. And it rolls a natural one. Uh, so, Ooh, that's um, Terry just, the Troll, yeah? Terry the Troll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Alwyn, you, you you see the shadow approaching, you hear the lumbering footsteps, but in its clumsiness, in its fear, fear at being on fire, uh, the club slams uselessly into, into the ground. And it will spend its last action to try and put itself out. It fails. Um, end of its turn, it takes the damage. Just a quick question: whilst it's putting itself out, 
Does that provoke an attack of opportunity? I don't believe it does, but nice try. Because a, mi- a manipulation action does. Mm. Like casting a spell. Let's let's look up let's look up a really obscure rule <laughs> in the middle of a massive <laughs> combat. <laughs> Love Sorry, it. but you know. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Assisted recovery. Oh, we can't do it anyway, because that, that takes two actions. In that case, it's just going to hit Owen instead. Okay. Or Dada instead. It misses. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, it misses. It continues to burn. Um, yeah, it take, 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 takes the damage. Um, end of the troll's turn. We are round to Raiden. Um, Raiden, you hear this individual who um, the rest of the party seem to recognise. Um, uh if you're going to kill that thing, hit it whilst it's burning. It can't regenerate. Uh, now that she's got a little bit of distance between herself and the majority of the danger, she's going to spin back round and cast Phase Bolt at the troll All right. using Reach Spell just in case it's beyond her. Uh, it's not beyond you. Well, well the oh. range on it's 30 feet, right? Yeah. You don't need to use it. Okay. Natural 20. (laughs) (laughs) Disappear! It's always that spell! (laughs) It's always that spell! It's always that spell! Decaffeinate! (laughs) Decaffeinate! Please not decaffeinate. I don't want to be decaffeinated. I fall asleep. More caffeine. Okay, I haven't shuffled those because I just drew the exact same card before. So. As, as fun as that was, I'm going to get a different one. What's your damage there, Sh- um, Raiden? Uh, almost max. <laughs> uh, 16 before doubling. 16 before doubling. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so 16, so, so double that to 32. Uh, Raiden, how do you kill the troll? <laughs> <laughs> um, she is looking very, very rough. She's wobbling on her feet. And she just brings her hands together and charges this ball of sparking, phasing, unstable arcane energy. And just with a shout of frustration and exertion just lobs it yeah, yeah. over arm and yep. uh, it just implodes on its chest like a baseball throw yeah <laughs> <laughs> batter up <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you watch as 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 Raiden's spell strikes the troll sent sen- sent a mass uh, the fire uh, consumes a uh, section of its skin and you watch as it uh, as it topples over backwards and uh, does not appear to be moving. Troll is down. (sighs) And uh, I will hold my position until the rest of my team are with me. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, End of Raiden's turn, it's Della. So, Della, you you, you can see that um, uh, now the troll is down. Uh, There are three Winter Guard remaining. Uh, However, there there is some distance between between them and you and they do seem to be preoccupied uh, with these uh, these ambushes who, who, who have come in uh, there are still two two, mi- two mirror men on, on the field um, one has just been slammed to the ground by, by Amos and the other is being swarmed by um, a number of your of your of your new new allies okay um, I'm assuming we're now going to make a run for it because we've rescued Chardonnay Chardonnay rescued now? Chardonnay, Chardonnay's back, back up. up. Yeah. yeah, okay, so I will uh, move enough distance that I'm not like too far away, but I can't even keep pace with everyone, so. Sure. Sure, sure. Well, we'll say you move up to Raiden for this, this point, because I think mm. we're getting close to dropping out of initiative anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, uh, and uh, that, that's, going, uh, that's the, the end of, D- of Della's turn. Perfect. So you just you, you rush to rush to, to join Raiden. Uh, end of Raiden's turn. It's sorry. End of Della's turn. It is the Mirror Men. What time are we on? Oh, we're on that time. Bloody hell. Um, okay. So uh, the Mirror Man that is currently on the ground. Um, 
it's first of all going to spend its action to stand up, uh, which will provoke an attack opportunity. Uh, yes, Alvin's going to take that. All right. This is the mirror man that downed Chardonnay, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, he's definitely going to take that then. Uh, 24. 24. I mean, it's technically fat footed at the time of the attack. That's, that is just going to hit. Oh, good. Uh, seven points of damage. Mate. And again, that damage is, is resistant. These resistances are killing you guys. Mm. That's good to know. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so, um, yeah, so so the Mirror Man uh, once again stands up. Um, it's going to use its second action uh, to step out of the murder sandwich as if it's uh, perhaps attempting to, to, to pursue Della and Raiden. Um, anyway, for its third action, uh, it will make a swing at Amos, who seems to be giving it the most trouble right now. Okay. So Amos takes a nasty strike on the sword. Uh, I don't know exactly what hit points he's on, but he, um, I think he's almost certainly bloody at this point. He's taking some heavy, heavy hits from these, from the, from these, from these strikes. Uh, but that's going to end its turn. Um, the battle continues behind, behind, uh, behind you. Uh, you see um, one, another of these, these, these winter, these winter guard go go, go down. Uh, fully, fully collapsing the left flank of the guardsmen, um, and you watch your your allies start to flow, start to flow in. Um, once again, Alwyn, you hear Ma- Ma- Maori shout out, um, "This is your chance, go, Yasha, clear, cl- cl- clear, clear a path." And you see one of these individuals um, nods and rushes uh, ahead of the group uh, with another flask of what looks to be alchemist's fire in hand, ready to launch toward. Uh, the cordon of guards that are um, that are blocking your path into into, into the forest. Um, it's Alwyn's turn. Okay, first action. Alwyn is going to command Chardonnay to join and protect Della and Raiden. All right. Um, I don't know if Chardonnay will have an attack of opportunity taken against him. Uh, As you. He- as First Chardonnay action gets up. As Chardonnay mo- mo- moves away from the, from the Mirror Man, there is a tense moment where you think the Mirror Man is going to strike him, and the Mirror Man does not. Okay. Um, I mean, with, yeah, 40 feet movement, I'm guessing Chardonnay doesn't have a problem getting to the others. He does not. With Alwyn's remaining two actions, he's going to ready an action to run in that direction as soon as Amos starts leaving and for a free action they must go now okay all right so end of your turn alwyn we are back round to amos and amos uh, will look at you all right but just one more thing and uh just because it went so well last time he, he he's going to try and put this thing on the ground one more time just to keep it off your backs a little bit and that's going to be Yeah, that, 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 again, that is a success, but not a critical success. You see, as as the mirror man gets unsteadily to to, to its feet, uh, brother Amos sweeps sw- sweeps sweeps the leg and sends it toppling to the ground once more. Um, and then he calls out, um, uh, "All right, let, let's get out of here!" And he breaks away from the, the mirror man on the ground and rushes to join the rest of the party. Okay, I'm guessing Alwyn does the same. Alwyn does the same uh, with the party reunited. Uh, you all are you, you are all quick, briefly overtaken uh, by one of these these hooded hooded figures, uh, who you recognise as as uh, as Yasha, who is one of the uh, who is the sister of Maori, who you also re- rescued from beneath the bone grinder just a few days before. Um, she sprints ahead of you a short way. Um, with a with with a yell and a mighty battle cry, um, I Elvana's gimps over here. Um, 
she launches this alchemist's fire uh, towards uh, the cordon of Winter Guard uh, that are guarding the entrance to the forest. Uh, the fire bursts across them. You see a few of them uh, drop, 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 drop to the drop to to the ground amidst amidst fire, and then she 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 looks at all at all, at all all of you and says, "It's been a pleasure. Go for all of us." And she breaks off to the left with a couple of a couple of other hooded figures in tow as the, as the cordon of guards begin to pursue her. And that is where we end for tonight. Ooh. <sighs> Tales from the Twenty Side is a Fegal Films production in association with Juicy Falls. Music by Alexander Nakarada and editing by Stu Jackson. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord by searching Tales from the Twenty Side or by visiting talesfromthetwentyside.com. We're not ready to take them on yet, are we? <laughs> not quite according to plan, but... Nope. No one's dead yet. I mean, Chardonnay went down. I'm pretty close. <laughs> yeah, but you're not dead yet. Mm. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Excitement. Mm. But we are progressing steadily. We are. We are progressing. So, uh, without that uh, interception of the damage that you did for Raiden that last time she got hit, she would have been on two hit points. <laughs> so you're on ten then. Yeah. 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 Than mm. <laughs> Gosh. Excitement. <laughs>